Hello and welcome to the Share Lots Show. I'm Georgie Courage Cole and I am thrilled to be joined on the sofa by everyone's favourite styling guru, makeup entrepreneur and Zara addict, Trini Woodall. Welcome Trini. Hello darling. Later on today we're going to be looking at Trini's winter fashion picks, expect sequins, there might be one or two, plus lots of new beauty chat as she talks us through her latest skincare heroes. But first, uh, we asked you what the questions were you wanted put to Trini and you sent them back. So. Oh, I didn't know this bit. So. What are we're they? We're doing a Q&A. Oh, we do? Welcome. I, no, that's great. I didn't know we were doing Q&A. Now I know. Ask me the questions. Now you know. You see, we didn't rehearse today. <laughs> it's Trini. We're like, we've got a pro coming in. We don't need a rehearsal. We so we are flying by the seat yes. of our pants. How lovely to see you. You too, darling. You look particularly fetching in your... Aww. Now, would you call it dog's tooth or hound's tooth? I'd, I'd go hound's, I you think. You would, yeah. Something rather unattractive about a I dog know. Do you think tooth. it's the size of... Do you think hound's tooth and dog's tooth mean the same thing? I go yes you you tell me i don't know the answer because mm -hmm. i think is a hound always something that's large and in a painting by constable and is a dog something could that could be a dachshund so therefore is the two size different that's always perplexed me okay but well, anyway moving if you're on. watching you know the answer <laughs> let us know yeah, please do uh right i've got some questions for you yeah um they're in a rather random order we're just going to fire Ooh. away so first of all not on the topic of fashion and beauty what is your favorite city and you're not allowed to say london venice um, she likes own cups. Venice is my favourite city. Why is that? Because I have the best memories of it from when I was a little child and we would go there on holidays and we'd stay on the Lido at the Excelsior, which seemed to me the biggest hotel in the world then. And I went back a few years ago and it seemed rather small. <laughs> but I remember the swimming pool seemed like an ocean because I was like five. And my brother was chatted up by a male waiter and it was the first time I'd encountered one man flirting with another man. <laughs> and I, that was like a real eye-opener. Um, what else? They had the best jams in the hotel. Um, we walked for hours, but then I had a nanny who made me walk for hours, so that was nothing. So then we went every few years, mm. and then I didn't go for a bit, and then with my husband I went a bit, and we were looking for a place for my 40th birthday, and we were there, and we thought, why don't we christen Lila here? So then the following March, I christened my daughter and had my 40th birthday. There. At the same time, yeah, in at the same time, and it was a most, and oh, I and I did special. treasure hunts around the city, and I had eighty oh. friends. It was like I spent so much money on that, like the <laughs> most I'd ever spent on anything in my entire life. Still is, still is actually. Oh yeah. well, you got wonderful memories from it. Uh, I've got to go. I've never been. Isn't that outrageous? Uh, you, yeah, but then you need to save it for something really special mm. if you've never been. Well, it's my fortieth next year. Well then, watch the space. Yeah. Um, favorite fragrance. Favourite fragrance? I have decades of fragrances. Okay. I can never answer a question with a quick answer. No, 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 no. Um, but that's but I would say my 20s were about Freca, yeah. which was a very opulent fragrance. Even early 20s, Opium Salon Rock, because it mm, just came mm. out. I'm that old. And then my 30s were about Vetiver by mm. Guerlain, which has now become a little bit too acidic. Yeah, the but I love a Vetiver. I love that that, that woodiness. Note, smell, yeah, yeah. Beautiful note. And then probably my 40s were going from Vetiver to Blen and Bouquet by Ben Halligan's, one of their first original fragrances which I adored. The rest of them I find too fake smelling. But they're making a bit of a comeback. Ben they Hagen's. are really making a comeback. Yeah. But they're still, sometimes now, because I worked when I was 25 for Caron in Paris, which is a really old fragrance house like Gula. And I worked with The Nose for about six months. And at the same Amazing. time, Patrick Suskin's book came out called Perfume. And so I was reading that and I became obsessed with fragrance. So um, mine have always been quite clean. Yep. never too cloying and I feel that when you leave a room you must take the fragrance with you you know and Good. if you leave it behind the fragrance is too strong <laughs> right got yeah okay fragrance on the cards okay watch this space uh favorite cuisine oh uh, well I kind of just not put it to Italian okay actually yeah what Italian. big bowl of pasta big bowl of pasta any day pesto pasta genovese outside of Genoa Heaven. I'm in heaven. Simple, but so yeah. good. Uh, what are the top three products across any category you can't live without? You mean skincare or? Anything. Any product. I mean, it's a general <gasps> question. Three things you can't live without. Oh my God. Sugary tea. What? Earl Grey tea. Oh, I mean, that kind of thing. Sugar in my tea, couldn't live without. Yeah, I couldn't change that. And when I've tried it, it's been a very inhospitable experience. Um, I would say color. Couldn't live without colour. Loving this. Yeah. If I, I mean, had to I'm wear black, loving I'd the neon like, pink. Yeah. She came in like a sort of vision of pink today. <laughs> Love it. You've yeah. brightened up so, a very so cold day. Yeah, colour is important colour, because I think sugar it changes your, tea, your mood. And um, God, this is so... This is like one of the hardest... I mean, I'd, I'd sort well of done, say... Well done, Explorer. Sequin. Sequins. I might say sequin. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Um, 
someone's asked you about Profilo. Profilo. Profilo is a... I've had it once. Yeah. I thought it was great. Did, Did you, you have it? it once in terms that you had the injection, then a month later had the other injections? Yes. Yeah. I thought it was fantastic. So Me too. for an audience, it's hyaluronic acid, which is you get six injections in your face, like here and here and here and here, here and here and here. And it makes the hyaluronic acid go very deep. So we might have topical neod, which has a very good hyaluronic acid, but that's only going on your epidermis. So this goes really deep and you do a set and then a month later you do another set. And I did, and sometimes you see a difference after the first set. It's not hugely expensive, but it doesn't last that long. They say it will last six months. I think it will last about three or four months. Mm. So that if you kind of, things, yeah, yeah, so if you're sort of, you know, let's say you're getting married and you want that treatment that will give you a plumpy, lovely glow and last your honeymoon when you get back and want to show your friends your lovely pictures and that kind of two month period. Um, and maybe before the wedding so you don't look stressed great thing to do. I would say my skin's never looked healthier or felt better yeah. than after I had that mm. treatment. I haven't kept it up, but actually I really, really yeah, hated it. Yeah, great treatment. Um, best eye cream for eczema prone skin. Mm. Ooh. I'm very reticent to recommend eye creams because I feel to a l they can be a waste of money if you use serums. I always feel I take a serum up to here mm. and I when we were looking at you know, under eye problems, so at Trinity London, I have a serum which had a baby with a concealer to make a product. So I believe if you incorporate it, you know, so for your eczema patient, BFFI would actually work because it hydrates and covers at the same time any redness you get from the eczema. Okay. Um, any advice on lip lines? Lip lines sounds tragic, but I've suffered from lip lines. So I did make Miracle Blur for lip lines. I mean, I was going to say, I know, it's a goodie. Just, it's, it's a goodie. It's such a goodie. And you know, when you look at before and afters, and we do film before and afters, that's why one sells every 23 seconds. Daily it is mail. cool. I, it does just fill. It's Fills. like a sort of, it's, it just fills polyfiller. the gaps. It's like it? going into your wall in the living room where you've got a crack and putting polyfiller in it. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. And is there anything more invasive you tried that's worked? I've tried a few other things and nothing has worked as immediately as that. So you can also do radio frequency. So you could do fractional radio frequency, which is a sort of, you know, that heating up of your skin. Mm. And that can help soften. I think if you are a regular user of retinol products, which are quite highly active retinols, the ones where you might gently peel a bit or very you know good percentage then that can help too okay uh someone has said off oh, changing the topic um any tips on what to wear for her 30th she's just had a baby she's still a bit wobbly i think it's so tricky when i haven't met somebody and i'm asked that thousands mm. of times on instagram and i want to be able to say you know let me yeah. let me go to your profile look at your yeah. picture help you but i it's really tough unless they're in front of you but i just say if you've had a baby, the thing you most want to feel that you're getting back, but you're so scared of showing, and Meghan Marple, as an example of this, is your waist. Yeah. So even though she had a baby months ago, still around here, she's not comfortable to wear really fitted. So I would go and buy, I mean, we haven't got it here because I'm looking at the sequins there that you've called in after I sent you some stuff and there isn't that jacket from Zara, but mm -hmm. there is a sequin jacket from Zara at the moment with a Balmain sleeve, but you know, a Balmain shoulder, nipped in here and if your arms are okay i'd buy it a size down so you get a real sense of a nipped inness at the side and then wear something slightly loose here if you still feel unconfident about your tummy or go and buy my favorite shapewear because i used I to make thinking. shapewear which is heist which we both know and and buy spend Brilliant. 95 pounds on a heist bodysuit and it will give you the confidence to wear a fitted dress. Yes. And then go and find a lovely, sexy fitted dress. Think of that bottom layer, good advice. Um, which decade is your favorite from a fashion and beauty perspective? If you could choose any decade to live in forever. Um, I would probably say today, and the reason I say that is in the 70s, when we look back, we think they were all wearing 70s clothing. They were also wearing 50s inspired clothing or 20s inspired clothing. Do you know what I mean? When we live in the decade we live in, we think, what are the influences we have? And so I think we've never celebrated so much the ability to embrace any decade. And that's why I love the decade we live in now. Ah, oh, good answer. Um, what are your must have wardrobe staples for right now, for this decade, for this autumn winter? I'd say your staples should never be trend led because then if you suddenly fall out of love with that trend you've kind of invested badly in a piece of clothing however much it cost you yeah. i do believe you want to love things 
and keep them in your wardrobe. So my sort of view around you know, sustainability is even if it's from Zara, if you love it and you're not going to keep it as a trite thing, you might think after two weeks, it didn't cost so much, I'll get rid of it. Mm. That's, that's um, irresponsible fashion purchasing. Yeah. But if you, you buy something and you think that's a classic, so you can be 20 and start to buy classics. You can be 30 and buy classics. You can be my age and buy classics. It's just, to me, classics are the things that most suit you and make you look that you don't belong to any trend, mm. but but really suit you. It's a kind Bring of- Bring out the best in you, yeah, you look like you. Yeah, and it's yeah. a kind of woman, when you go up to a woman and go, you look so fabulous and chic, that's a woman who's doing her classics yeah. the best. You didn't see her clothes straight away. Yeah. You just saw her looking great. You just saw her looking well-dressed. Okay, well, I'm already getting a nod for the time, so oh, we're gonna have to fire through these a bit quicker. Yes. Um, what's on your Christmas list this year? For me? Yeah. Oh, um, there's not many people who will give me presents. I know, you're like me. Mm. No, we spend your life having to answer what people, and just, I'm like, yeah. don't give me anything. Yeah, so, 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 like, my, my partner's like, can we please go somewhere now so you can, he, he's desperate for me to find something I like so he can say, can I give that to you for Christmas? And I'm desperate to get a surprise. Mm. And then he, But you're you know, not going to so, like the surprise, are you? Well, the you? thing is, that's the I, trouble. you can steer in the right direction for the surprise. So but then I, it's not really a surprise then, Okay, is it? so I love Anina Vogel. So this is a bracelet I wear a lot, which is one of hers, which is that one, and that, so then I got oh, that for, I got lovely. that for Christmas and then what well, this 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 here that one <gasps> and so that's like my see? treasured thing see? that's my treasured Can thing I see that I mean it's stunning it's lovely <gasps> but her things also since that was given to me have gone up astoundingly so Ooh. I had said I'd love another one and he went I gave you the best one so I don't want so I was like so I just I don't know, I always want things to be sentimental and practical, so I'm really difficult to buy You're for. struggling, okay. Mm. Uh, best colours for olive skin? Blue, well, eyes, darling, blue eyes, not brown. Well, the problem is, if you're olive skin, I, do you have blonde hair or brunette hair? Do you have green eyes or do you have brown eyes? Very difficult, unless I know all three, because okay. I do believe pass. how you define. You're allowed to pass, That's, you're allowed to okay. pass. Um, makeup in your 30s, any advice? I'd say it's about your skin prep before, and then to me, it's about how much is your average amount of makeup. So just make sure that your makeup makes you look like you have a great skincare routine. Okay. Uh, Christmas pregnancy, a few pregnancy questions. Christmas pregnancy yeah. outfits? Christmas loose. pregnancy outfits. Um, I'd say again, I mean, I'd just say like a sequin jacket over a black stretchy dress that you feel covers everything and then yeah. make buy the jacket a size too yeah. small and wear it open. I just think it's an easy look to feel glamorous. I also, when I was pregnant, just lived in, I had two really good pairs of maternity jeans, you know, where they'd done the waist. Yeah. And then I just wore great blazers and fun earrings and I literally just wore the same thing every yeah. weekend because I'm always And people money. don't notice what you wear ground down, generally. Um, how do you buy hair extensions? How do I buy them? How, do, how, how does one buy hair extensions? If they want to buy them, um, what advice have you got? Okay, so there's two different types of hair extensions. One is clip-ins, and clip-ins, I think, are the best thing to do. I don't believe necessarily in hair extensions which are bonded to your hair. So if she's saying buy them, I presume she means the clip-in. Mm -hmm. So I think that Daniel Hersherson does a great range of clip-in hair um, things and you can get ponytails you and you can get short too, ones. I was thinking of doing them last, like before I saw his, and then I thought actually he's done it really okay. well. So Daniel Hutchison, I'd go to him. Okay. Um, best high street underwear? Um, I think it's on the right hand side and it's going up the King's Road. Marks and Spencer's? No, you know what I have? Wacko, Wacko. Oh, right. Wackle. Yes. I get them in Fennec. That's not really high street. But no. I don't like M&S knickers. I haven't found the perfect M&S knicker. Okay. I like things, yes, just to say. So I like things that are sort of seamless and flesh coloured. Because mm -hmm. I just, I'm not into, hey, let me take off my clothes and show you my sexy underwear. Fair enough. Can I just say, I think Next does quite good. Does it really? Underwear. Yeah. I mean, have you got any? Yeah, I have. Actually. I might have a go and look. I, I go and go to okay. a big one. Yeah. Only because I buy my son's trousers then. I happened to be at the till and I was like, Ooh, oh, my God. Quite nice sort of t shirty shiny with lace, which I quite like. That's what yeah. I like. So there we go. T shirty shiny with lace. You heard it here first. That's what she likes. So any men who want to send yeah. her a little Christmas or gift. Or not. I'm fine, I think, actually, but thanks. Um, <laughs> will you ever host another TV show? I really miss what not to wear. Don't we all? Okay, if you really miss what not to wear, 
on YouTube, we have the Trini Takeover Show. And each week, I mean, we do them in, we've done the second series, but between the two series, which are like six parts each, we'd have a million views. And it's, we take a woman, we take her to Zara, we do her makeup, we do her hair with Josh Wood, and then it's all done in 12 minutes. And I've got to say, I enjoy filming it more than I did What Not To Wear. Really? And I find the outcome for the woman is fabulous. Life changing. And it's the first time that I've done a proper TV show where I control the edit. Mm. You know, it's not somebody trying to edit me in a show. Mm -hmm. This is me and Chloe, who's behind the camera now. Um, but you know, it's just having a small team, you can make a great TV show. So go on to YouTube. Uh, I mean, big question, what inspired you to start Trini London? I mean, just your own, I think it should always be your own. I'm sure you had this with, with sheer lux. You wanted just to know what was around and have somebody tell you in your email because you don't want to go to 20 sites. Mm. So for me, it was, I wanted portable makeup that was mm. queen based, that was really easy for me to put on and I couldn't find it anywhere. Five more questions, really quickly. Where do you recommend for street leg leather trousers for tall girls on a budget? Label mix it next. No, I would say it's like a pig in a plastic bag and they're sweaty and I just avoid leather not trousers. Not a fan. I'm okay. not a fan of leather trousers. Okay. Favourite sequin item in the shops at the moment? The silver sequin jacket from Zara, which looks like a Balmain. Okay. Any postpartum skincare makeup tips? I would say a lot of people can have pregnancy mask and they have melasma after pregnancy and the pigmentation because their hormone levels have gone up gets really strong. So I'd say a really good vitamin C. Okay. Uh, option, your opinion on tear trough fillers. Tear trough being yeah. here. Yeah, I think be very careful because those kind of fillers can move and when you have photographs taken, they can reflect back if the filler's a bad filler. Yes. So be really aware of doing it. And the teeny tiny, I've had real problems with tear troughs. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Dr. Sibthorpe. Tiny, 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 tiny bit. He did mine really well. Who did it? Dr. Sibthorpe. Fantastic. Yeah, look, so small. Okay, like what kind of filler did he use? Oh, pass. You don't know, but just but a little bit. So it just took away that dark I mean, circle. literally tiniest, tiniest, tiniest. Yeah. But I had really, and they were showing in all my photos. Okay. Anyway, so you go. Uh, sorry, you're not asking me. You're asking me. No, but Trini. it's really good because you gave fantastic advice. Um, what skincare products do you recommend for ladies under 30? And then one more. I think just make sure when you get home from your fabulous night, you clean your skin and you clean it again and let it breathe overnight. Okay. Most important thing to do. Finally, a fan of Miracle Blur here. Any tips on putting it on really well? Yes, I think that you, I put it in my finger and I just press it on and I keep blending it, keep blending it and it should just all go in beautifully and it won't pell and you just get that lovely finish. There, your lines are gone. Simple as that. Um, thank you, Trini, and thanks to you all for sending in your questions. Next up, we're going to be looking at some sequins. Who'd have thought it, hey? Don't go away. What are we doing today? We are about to go into the aisle eight press Oh, that's cool. Loving a bit of vinyl at the moment. They're really cool. We really do amazing dresses, prints, colours. Oh, this is a bridal collection. Penny, who's the creative director and yeah. founder, created it purely because when she got married, she could find a big dress. Fair Christmas party wear collection, which looks really fun and fabulous. Lots of velvet, lots of sequins. Look at that. Amazing. Where are we today? Doing a bit of market research. What kind of shops are we going to go to? All sorts. So here. Got my favourite up here. Cardigan Voltaire. Bash, Marge, Sandro, Jason K. Get all the way down to Shoot York, Mark Prince and Zara. Oh, that is what I want to be wearing today. I quite like the size of the hood. It's a good size hood, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. I know, that's what I was thinking. Like, like, yeah. Bungle. Remember Bungle? Bungle, Zippy and George. I didn't expect I like it that much. So many new glasses brands. The extent we're doing a roundup. SL Mag. This is why you have to come out. Baby. Where are we going now? Bash. Let's do it. I've got this in white. How nice is that? For the evening. Look at these. How cool is that? What's that foundation? Yeah. Amazing. How did you feel? Slightly self-conscious. Yeah, you suffered your art though, right? But it's pretty cool. That is really cool. Isn't it? Yeah, sequins are here. Now, anyone who follows Trini will know she's a serious sequin devotee and not just at Christmas either, but there's no better time of year to embrace the look. So We've got a few pieces to look at, some of your favourites. Should we do and some sequin rules first? Tell or just like, me. Yeah, just tell little me things. Some. I can't go into a shop now without thinking of, and see a sequin without thinking of okay. you. It's now coined in the office and <laughs> Trini would approve. Um, so what are the rules? Are there any rules? I think that for a sequin novice and somebody who always has associated a sequin with a sort of evening dress, is to try and imagine that what you try and buy now should be something you could really dress down. So you could literally have jogging pants, a white trainer, a white t-shirt, a necklace, and a sequin jacket, and layered like the t-shirts 
out. So you cool. dress that down so much that you actually think to yourself, I could wear it once a week. Yeah. Whereas that sequin dress from Rixo or whatever might be, be brought out every three or four months and the cost per wear is quite mm. expensive. So I sort of think, try and look at sequins to be worn in the day and then once you get your head around that, you'd wear them all the time because you'd see the benefit. And how do you feel about wearing sequins to things like weddings? Is that Weirdly, okay? I, I think it's so okay and I think there's some very nice little, you know, there's some beautiful wedding dress, uh, you know, dress you wear to weddings and you think, I don't want a full furry jacket, but I could do a little sequin yeah. thing. But it has to be kind of cool and different. Yeah. And sometimes sequins can look cheap. So when we were looking at this rail, and I know I suggested things for you to call in, two things I hadn't seen in real life. So they didn't look as nice. They aren't Basically, as nice in real we life. We just a bit. She's just seen a no, couple no, no, of things. No, 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 but there's even one here. But I'm, okay, so I'll start with... A really good one. This okay. one to me is for the it's for the the novice of sequin to wear um, just a very beautiful structured Stella McCartney narrow lapel inspired cut in a very small paillette. Paillette is a sequin, and the smaller the paillette and the more it's hovering over another paillette, usually the more expensive that sequin is. Okay. And the more it's spread out, it's cheaper. They haven't used so many to get there. So I just love the fact that it's a bit oversized. It's really great size wise. So from a you know, an eight would wear an extra small, but the large, I had a woman size 16 in, which is great because some high streets are not brilliant in things like this for size 16 mm. or 18. So I just like that. It's, it's a not, great shape, yeah, isn't really it? Good shape. It's not for somebody who's under five foot five. Okay. It's very long. So is there a height rule then on sequins? No, there's a height. Like if you, if this jacket was like that, mm. you know, then I'd say a five foot three person, it would look lovely. But this would really drag somebody down. It's quite long on me. It okay. goes below my bottom and I'm five ten. And is that a rule on jackets and height as it's opposed a, to yeah, sequins? Yeah, it's on jackets. Okay. In, in general. So if you're small, don't wear a long jacket. Well, I think you've got to be careful about proportionality. So yeah. it depends what's underneath that jacket okay. um, and how long the trouser length is, yeah. if it's crop or full length. So there's a few, you know, I can't be simple. Can I mean, I that's that's you? mega though. That blazer is one hundred thirty nine pounds. Yeah, that is a really. It's a great price. It's a stunner, and yeah. actually, that with white in the summer. Oh, amazing. Divine. Yeah, lovely. And then another. Okay, I else? actually wore a version of this to go and talk to sixteen hundred women in in Dublin. But this is actually what's great about this. There Ooh. were two white ASOS suits. Hold that up a second. I'm going to put the jacket on. Um, and the other one has a bigger paillette, but this one is a smaller paillette. I think I'm getting a nudge. We've got to go that way. Okay. That this way. one. Yeah. I got. The, um, I got the other suit first and I loved it and I wore it a lot. So when this one came out, which is more refined, Ooh. I then got it as well. This is ASOS. This is ASOS. And then I went down Bond Street two days ago and I saw in Chanel. Stop. Literally Stop. in Chanel in the window, this exact top half. I mean, the whole thing was identical to this white paillette. I'm looking had... at this Ace or Soon, a whole new line. <laughs> it, no, but it, I know you so well, because Chanel, and, oh my God, okay. <laughs> but it had, I, mean, I, was, I was staggered, Georgie. It had the inverted pleat, it was high-waisted, and then it had a little Chanel mm -hmm. chain belt over it. And it was really wide-legged, and it's got pockets. Beautiful. And just Beautiful. Like, 100 pounds and 80 pounds, ASOS edition. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. And I'm going to say a last thing on it. Tell me. Um, and this is something that I did with the coat I came in. The, the bad feature of this, and this is something you should always think about, is the pull is bad and the, 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 the little um, the snap is cheap. So I actually go with a pair of scissors and I cut yeah. the snap off and I cut the button off so it's just seamless and clean. You don't need it, do you? Makes it look more expensive. Yeah. So good. Th those tip. are good little things to think about when you're thinking about sequin or any kind of jacket. And okay. sequins to a dinner to something more casual. What would you? What would your rules be? How do you balance it? If you're, well, if it's evening, but you don't want to look like you've like, like been like, oh, I'm the person who's arrived in the yeah. sequins. I do that with a lovely white shirt, like the one you're wearing in a pair of jeans. Okay, I do that. Then yeah. we've got a few Rixo inspired sequins. I mean, Rixo were inspired by other people, but people have been inspired by Rixo. Mm. It's the kind of, it's the, it's a, it's a feeding chain of the designers to high yeah. street. So and other stories sits somewhere in the middle. But I actually have not seen this in real life, but I saw it in their window, and I just thought the that's are quite amazing. a nice Rixo inspired dress for probably a hundred and something pounds. I like this sort of, so it's, is it ombre? The way yeah, it all sort of, you nice, know, it's, it is it's actually. Good. It's a bit less yeah. obvious. The only thing, this is another thing about cheaper clothing, yeah. that you'll have a lining, like this lining here, do you see the black yeah, poking yeah, out? So yeah. 
always make sure that when you put it on, it feeds in and you don't see too much of that lining. And if you do, take a safety pin to chase the lining in a bit so you never see the black lining coming out. Good. Okay. Good one. That's right. 85 quid, though. That's a lot of secret, isn't it, for 85 quid? Yeah, um, what else have we got on the rail? We've also got this little... Oh, I, I, I want to look at this, because this I saw online, and I wanted to try it from River Island. I like um, this. So it's like a jacape. It's a... Jacape. A, a jacape. So, you know what I mean? That, that really well-known. <laughs> that really well-known really well expression. Known piece of clothing. But it's like when, a jacape. Yeah, it's it's catchy, isn't it? Yeah, it's got the feeling of a cape, but it's a jacket. But, and I hate wearing pink and black, so it, it, I'm coming out in yes. hives. But I think that <laughs> could be very nice. And what you can do with something like this, which I really adore, is you could be wearing black dress underneath and you do a belt here. So you get that lovely silhouette, of, uh, because it's a soft sequin, you can belt it. And then you have, oh, I'm sorry, the set's dropping. And then you have that little arm coming out. Um, so on it's better, the structure is interesting. Mm. And if you don't like your arms and you've got sleeveless dresses in your wardrobe and suddenly you're feeling, I'm aware of my arms, something like that will give new life to those dresses. Do you know what, I'd love that with a really lovely wide leg -like velvet trouser. Oh, be yes. nice, be it? divine. It's quite elegant. Yeah, it is, isn't I it? I like that. And that's River Island, that's 50 right. quid. That's pretty, pretty good. good pretty it? good. Pretty okay, good. we've got a pink here. Give that one to me. Yes, thank the you. So on the, the pink is like, I'm not, this is one I wasn't sure about because I had a sleeveless version of a kind of beigey version of this from Zara and it's very see-through and my trick is I'll wear like a white t-shirt or a white long sleeve um, blouse because it hasn't, shouldn't have buttons or anything and wear this over. Mm. So instead of just having a bra with it over, I think having sequins I think on net against your skin mm. can look cheap. Mm -hmm. So you need to give a richness to I'm them. I'm definitely with you on that. Yeah. Okay. I think this is pretty, I like that it's not, it's not a clear sequin, I love a clear, but it's- It's, it's little, subtle. Yeah. It's just a little shimmer. It's pretty, it's nice and girly. Yeah. We well, like nice and girly nice at Sherlock. Uh, and finally, that black sort of tux style yeah, this is jacket. Cool. Where I, does this one come this from? This is, uh, I think this is Topshop. Top shop. And I think it's like, um, you know, they have yes. this range. Idol. Oh, it's idol. the idle range. Yeah. But I, and I'd hate again to put it with pink, but I just need to put it on to see I'm with you, I'm with you on the black and okay. pink, can Thank I say? Because uh, I don't Boy, really like seem dead, pink. literally, in this, but as I I'm showing you the concept. Cool. I think the cut is very nice. It I think feels it's modern. really cool. I think the lapel is really cool. Mm. Um, and the black velvet wide leg trouser. I like that. would be great. Yeah, the covered buttons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're, you're cool denim. Yeah. I really like that. Okay. I like that a lot. Right. That's I love it. that a lot. 129 pounds. Well, top but shop. I, I also think I bought a black high street sequin blazer a few years ago and I've still got it. I still wear mm. it at Christmas. You kind of, they don't really date that they much. Never do date, they never date, really. They never um, date at all. And we've got one more, something navy on the hanger. Yeah. Is that worth nice. a look? I, I mean, that's like a, a sort of <gasps> mini oh. dress, but I think what I love velvet? about it is that it looks oh, quite expensive because it it's velvet sequin. This is Karen Millen, who's become is much it? more expensive. Caramel and clothes now are about two or three hundred pounds. How much That's is this? But that to me looks mega. How much mega. is this? Two, three, five. Yeah, yeah. But that looks. That could be nearly Stella McCartney kind of thing. It's pretty killer, yeah. I think. Yeah. I mean, if you've got good legs, get Flaunt a fake them. tan out, some little ankle boots. Nice. Okay. And the fake tan. Let's go on to beauty. Let's not talk about we? fake tan. We don't agree on that one. Uh, don't comment on it either. Anyway, of course, everything featured uh, in. The show will be linked below. Now, years in the industry has made Trini a bit of an expert in the beauty department, to say the least, and she's going to be back after the break showing us the skincare heroes she can't live without. We are here at Topshop flagship store in Oxford Circus to have a look at their incredible new pieces for autumn winter. So now we are in the Topshop personal shopping suite and we're going to try on all the product that we've picked and create some outfits for you to recreate as well. Putting a 
weird to the wacky. There's not a lot. Trini won't try when it comes to beauty, something her followers know all too well. And trying and testing everything out uh, has given her a pretty good idea about what works and what doesn't, which means she's well placed to recommend the best out there. So we've got some of your favourites. Here. Yeah, there's some things I've been Today. trying for a bit, and there's some that I've had in my wardrobe forever. So I'm okay. going to start over there. Start over here. Okay. So we think of when our skin is dry, we yeah. always think, let's just put on more moisturizer. And sometimes what we have to be doing is exfoliating the dead skin off quicker so that hydration can go into the skin. So if you have really dry skin, you just pile on moisturizer, your skin will not actually necessarily feel more moisturized, mm. apart from that immediate feel-good touch. So I like a fruit acid to go into my moisturizer, and Amorolite has it, and it's got acid acids in it that will kind of get those that resurfacing of your skin working far more efficiently and at the same time hydrating it. The smell you have to get used to. I because quite it, like the smell you do like the smell of, you do, that's great. Because it's not pretty covered in it's not like sort of Laura Mercier, let's do some burnt caramel smell. It's no, not but it vanilla. Feels, it it's, smells effective. I know you think yes, that's a ridiculous that. thing. No, that's but such a good expression. I, I do I feel like it smells yeah. medical. It's working. Can I just acknowledge that I've changed jackets? It looks so good. She made me change. I do, because it looks so gorgeous on she you. She made me change. I know it's quite yeah. quite peculiar, but anyway, here I am, the sequin jacket. Yeah. Back to Melorate. Yes, back to Merylate. Um, so they did a rose version, which I want to get hold of, and um, they don't make it anymore. So we're back to the normal one. They also do like a one for the feet and Move one for the hands. But I think it's a great, like, and you can now get it in boots, which you couldn't do before. I used to get it from Victoria Health. Mm -hmm. That's how I found out about it. But now you can get them boots. Medical. Medical. Yeah, I medical. have to say, Maya, our marketing manager, who's standing over there, she's a big fan of she this. And I think it's great. Yeah. I use it too. Fantastic. So Good. Get your hands on that. And it's nice and affordable too. OK. Yeah. Then Good we night. have... Number two. So Emma Hardy, to me, is at the higher end of the market. And her cleanser, I find, nearly prohibitively expensive. But she brought out this plumping mist. And I always think to myself, how can I add another stage onto my skincare regime? Because I kind of, how can I, kind of, I, can I add another thing. stage? I can I use one more thing? Because I, I do love, I love two sides of the pond. I love America for being quite aggressive in its active ingredients. And the companies come out of that. And I love Japan and Korea for that layering and nurturing of the skin. So to me, the ideal skincare regime is something that combines the two. You, just, you have just explained it all to me. I love that. Okay. Invasive America, yeah. nurturing. Korean, Korean, Japanese, yeah. Yeah, great, yeah. So, What do we do? What so do Brits do? We do something in between. We sort of either do nothing or we do a bit or we just, you know, we, we, we sort of think, what should we be doing? The question I most ask on my social media is, what should I be doing? Or what's the order in which I do things? Mm. So when I go and say, by the way, you should all be doing a mist, they're like, but where does that go in my <laughs> regime? what, yeah. Because we grew up, a lot of us, on cleanse, tone, and moisturize. So if you're cleansing your skin, when you tone your skin, that's when you should be preparing your skin for any active product. It shouldn't be when you're taking the last bit of foundation off. Mm -hmm. Toner shouldn't be that. Mm -hmm. So if you've cleaned your skin properly, and we're gonna go on to another cleanser, then a mist is a phenomenal transition for your skin on when you're doing a wintry full routine. But also, you know when you clean your skin, you're going to the gym and you, you don't want to put on your moisturizer, you don't want to waste it. That's when to use a mist because this is a hydrating mm. Mrs. Aloe Vera in it. It will calm the skin. It will give a bit of hydration. And you just, I don't want to do it for us now, but you can also smell it. It smells divine. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. It really smells divine. It's, it's slightly, mm, sparring. I don't know what, it's iris and rose and whatever. Um, but mm. I've been addictively using it for two months and I've got a lot of mist to choose from and I keep going back to this one. Interesting. So I love it. Now, Emma Hardy, 42 pounds. Yeah. So not cheap. It's lasted me though four months, I should think. And I, I spritz twice a day. Plumps dehydrated, skin, boosts hydration, protects, blah, blah, blah. I mean, winner, winner. Yeah. I like winner, really winner, like winner, that. Winner, winner, yes. Really like that. Okay. Number three. Okay, my quest in life is to find a vitamin C with the most active l absorbic acid ingredient. Well, then why don't you just make one? Well, this, before I make it, All in good time. is the one. Okay. okay. Until and, then. Um, up to now, I probably would have put SkinCeutical C Ferulic at the top because it has about 23%. Mm -hmm. I would have put Dr. Seabag Vitamin C Powder there, which um, is 25%. This I, has got 35%. This has got oh 35%, which is very high. Now, percentages are always can be a little bit deceptive because it depends what it's sitting in. Okay. Okay, sometimes it can sit, like, if you go to, 
the ordinary and you look at their retinols, there's a 2% retinol in squalene and there's a 1% retinol in something else, the 1% stronger. So don't always feel percentages mean it's stronger, but I happen to know the formulation of this. And I know that mm -hmm. this company, Eliza Skin, which uh, has changed its packaging now, actually. They've gone a bit drunk elephant with that kind of, you know, open and yes, closed phallic yes, symbol. Yes, quite like it there. But this is, again, you're going to find from the smell, there's a real sense of this is medicinal, it must work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really strong. It's old. Yeah, it's, mm. a, it's an odd smell. Expensive. And it smells kind of bitter, weird, even dirty sockish. I, I don't want to put you off because... Dirty the, in, sockish. No, but just there's something in, about it which is not... A pretty smell. So if you're used to a vitamin C that smells pretty from the body shop, you won't get this. But if you want to even your skin tone and you want the best product that I think is on the market, which has the highest part of L absorbic acid, this is it. And you're using that evening, morning? I um, use it morning, morning and at night I use DCL, vitamin C night booster. Okay. Um, but this does have a special different elements of vitamin C's in it and it really rebuilds your collagen as well. Helps I haven't too. heard of Helps that brand. Too. Learning a lot today. Uh, Alpha H. Alpha H. We you might know, well. know Liquid Gold from Alpha yes. H because Liquid Gold is an amazing um, kind of, you know, uh, um, exfoliating toner. And this is... £24. Copper. Now, copper, what copper does... I don't know if you ever saw cop uh, Neod Copper Amino Isolate. Yes, yes. Okay, so that was a product. I think I bought it on here yeah, I think once. You did. And what it does is it acts as this channel for other products to penetrate better into your skin. Okay. So this at what is it? Twenty. Twenty-four pounds. Twenty-four pounds. I got first in Caroline Heron's winter kit. So I've only been using it for about three weeks. Okay. And I thought, my God, there's something interesting here. It's blue because copper is blue and it hasn't got too oily a formula. It's, you don't feel it's oily. You put it on, it has that distinct smell of slight bit of, it's like yeah. rose scented rust is the only way I could describe it, but it's not oily. So if you do that on your hand, you don't feel it's sticky or oily. Okay, and so where I'm confused, we've got a C serum, a B serum. What, you okay. use this in the morning, when do you use this? Well, I've given you a whole regime here. I know. I have given, okay. let, let me, then, let me just, let me just, Leave you alone for a second, because I do want to mid thing and talk okay. about. Okay, we're gonna have a break. From I'm gonna have a break. Care. Okay, and then I'm gonna much. put them in order. Okay, take I, a breath. Yes, because we're gonna talk about sheer shiver. <laughs> this is where I get Trini London product paces in. We got seven and a half minutes, so let's be quick. I wanted to do something that you could put on, and if you've done like your really good skincare regime, then you don't have time for much makeup, you do our BFF, and then you get this product and you can put it everywhere. So I'm just trying to think what color will suit me now, but I can take Emily, and so I could put it on my lip, there. I can put it on my cheek, here. And I even actually put this on my eyes. It's really pretty on the eyes. Yeah. You did that on one of your yeah. team earlier. Yeah. She does that. She pins them against yeah. a wall yeah. and covers them in her products. I but do. That, it's like that it's, one. It, yeah, is it's, it's a lovely. lip and cheek. Sneak it onto the eye. It's not mm. like it's not meant to be on the eye, but we like to sneak. So things that's around. three things in one product. Yeah. Clever. Kind of. I mean, it, it's just and it's flying out. So I just want to say it so now because it's flying out. Four of those. How much do they cost? They cost twenty-two pounds. Okay, and they probably last for ages. They? they last like for ages. Um, yeah. I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely love this one. Dido. Uh, Dido. It's great, isn't it? Should I put a bit more Dido? Can on you put you a actually? bit more on my yeah. cheeks? And I, to me, it's really. I was really interested to hear about this product because you want a bit of a glow, but you yeah. don't want to look oily and too shiny. And I don't want to be too shimmery either. Sometimes yeah, you know, I don't. Yes. If I, like, open your mouth up a bit. So let's say you've got like a shimmer eye. Yeah. Then I'm thinking, can I do a shimmer lip as well? It's like you want it to be subtle, yeah. little glow. And then I just put a little bit here. Sometimes, you know, when you mix your highlighter with your blusher to get that? Do you ever do that, mix no, your highlighter no. and your blusher? I do that sometimes. And this does it for you in a way, because it's giving you that, you know, I like it when you're, this part of your cheek is shiny, because mm. it really looks healthy and But gorgeous. you don't want that. And you get all these yeah. products that you put under your foundation, and all these illuminators everywhere. and whatever. And then you just look like this shiny, ugh, horrible mess. So I love that so this is just that. like a little bit so Interlude clever. of sheer shimmer. So okay, clever. Four shades. Um, so I'm going to go very quickly in regime. Skincare. So the first thing in any regime. Can we just go back to this? So when are we using this? I'm going to, what I'm going to do You're is come back to it. Because I'm going to okay. say, Goodness. when you clean your skin, yeah. if you really want to get into a great skin regime, yeah. you need to clean it twice, especially if it has makeup. So you don't want to spend money on a cleanser. 
I would use your good skin. Available at Boots, how much is it? Like 12? It's £9.50. £9.50. I, I use this. You use this. Cross my heart. Okay. I use this. Comes with a hot cloth like Yves Long, really which good. costs 40 quid. And it's got a kind of like a sort of creamy, balmy texture. I put it on, I use a Foreo, and then I take it off with a hot cloth or a flannel. You use a Foreo, do you? Yeah. Then I need to now really clean my pores. That's when I grab stage two of my cleansing regime, which is a more granular exfoliating cleanser. And this is an enzymatic powder. This is skin regimen. Now, okay. lots of people do this kind of rice bran or enzymatic powder formula. But what happens is you put it on. It looks like drugs, like that, OK? And you get, I'm just going to actually get a bit of that. I'm going to put it on with as if I got some water. And then you rub it in. And very quickly, the, the granule becomes a liquid and it penetrates in. But your skin mm. is polished without aggressiveness and it has exfoliated it. And it's enzymes, so there is, there's rice bran enzyme and there's a bit of fruit enzyme. So the enzyme is the eating away of and your skin. And it feels gentle from just touching your hand Very there. gentle. And, but and, it's an exfoliator. Yeah, and one of the best things, it's a powder, so if you travel, you don't have anything adding to your allowance of Clever. Enough. So it's basically, going back to the regime, That's clean really your good. skin, don't take off your makeup, Clean your skin again. Okay. Do something to give yourself the interim or if you're going to the I'm gym. Sorry, would you do that every day? Yeah, I would, too do much. That. I would do that every day. It's but gentle. if you've got sensitive skin, but it's very gentle. Yeah, it felt it. Then I would do a little spritz, okay? An essence or a toner or a mist at this stage of your regime. Then you start with a serum. You might be a one serum girl. Okay. If you're one serum girl, I think vitamin C is amazing. Okay. This is expensive. There are like garden wisdom cheap ones. Okay. This is something that if you're adding it in your regime, it will come before the vitamin C. It's the first thing you put on your skin. So you can go serum on top of serum? Yes, you can in certain okay. orders. Okay. Then you've got here, we've done that, and then you've got your body. But you might then put here your moisturizer. Okay. So that's, that's the regime. That's the regime. And then you put on sheer shimmer. And then you put on sheer, sheer shimmer. shimmer. Sheer shimmer. Bit of BFF. Bit yeah. of Miracle Blur. Miracle Blur before BFF? Which way around? I would BFF, say BFF and then Miracle, Miracle Blur, Blur on top. Yeah. And then a bit of shimmer. And then a bit of shimmer. <laughs> Amazing. As always, thank you. I think that's all we have got time for. Right, darling. It's always so lovely to see you. It's thank been you a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, do follow Trini at Trini Waddle or check out trinilondon.com. Um, and, you know, get your hands on some sheer shimmer. It's definitely a good stocking product this year. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Do please give us a thumbs up, review, subscribe, and tell your friends. Bye-bye.